good hunter. This may sound strange, but have I somehow changed moments ago from some place, perhaps deep within? I sensed a liberation from heavy shackles. Not that I would know. How passing strange. <laughs> huh. Hey, hello everybody, this is TrophyNet and welcome back to Bloodborne the Old Hunters. I was gonna start this episode back at the fishing hamlet after I leveled up and seen to my gear. But now the doll is talking again. Hunters have told okay, that's the same. But she told us that she was... she lost some shackles. Very well, let me... And now that she's here she kind of does look like Lady Maria. That's odd. Farewell, may you. So we know Lady Maria was probably a hunter of the healing church, the one in charge of those horrible experiments that tried to eventually make that celestial emissary. And the doll was made by German, so maybe Maria was one of German's students? And he made the doll because he loved her? And that could explain why he despises her so much. Interesting. And that's why she said that she felt like she was liberated from something, because we destroyed the lost soul of Maria in that nightmare. Hmm. Just a theory. Could be something else completely, but I feel like it's pretty close. Because they do really look alike. And I refill my blood vials. And maybe buy some stuff with inside as well. And then we'll go back to the fishing hamlet. Oh. Ooh, blood rock? What? Since when can I buy blood rocks? For 60 inside. Oh, uh, I'm gonna buy one. So that means I can... Okay. What are those? Doesn't say here. That was weird. I got some frenzy and a bit of... something else that I can't really place. Okay, so we've lost enough inside anyway. So back to the fishing hamlet. So I'm gonna first try and explore the fishing hamlet in this episode and then in the next episode I'm gonna try and further explore the astral clock tower some more because a lot must have changed since we rotated the center beam. Anything here? I hear lots of noises. And something creepy past that window. Okay. Fisherman! A bit of a. Uh, Carbuncled fisher fishermen. Oh, if they put a hole in the ground here, I'm gonna be fucked. Are those corpses? Oh god. Okay. This is pretty useless. Spear bearers. I'm still wearing that funny hat 
because I really want to see if it changes anything. Because it's kind of lore related, because the, the patients have the same head. More blood vials. There's something on the left here. And a funny cage. So I don't want to get stabbed in the back, so I'm first going to do this. That looks explosive. Okay, so now what's this green thingy? Ah, okay. Fish, fish. There is a second level to this house. Tampering damp blood gem, oh. And there is something there, so there must be a way to get up there. Probably from over there, crossing over to the roof. Yeah, probably. Unless, of course, I missed something already. Beware of arcane and fear projectile. Yeah, things might have changed a bit. Okay. So those things came from that cage probably yes. Or that thing. That's also a possibility. I hear gurgling coming from the left as well. Yep. Also, not gonna get surprised by that. Holy shit! Is that a dolphin man? Oh fuck 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 holy shit. Never mind, I'm dead. Oh god. Well, I do hope I was tasty. Ew. That's one. Okay. Oh yeah! Combo is bitches! Again. So I killed the magic man. I killed the dolphin man. And I killed a lot of fish people. What 
fuck was that? Search body. More cool blood. Dude. More cool blood. Yep. Fucking knew it. Okay, so he can't hit me here. Great. So now, is it better to first get in there? his attention okay Okay, I win. So there's a door on the side here. Oh, that's handy to know. So I can bypass a bit. So now that firebomb dude is back outside. Smack his face. And now I can... Get this, I suppose. Oil urn, okay. There's one over there too. Maybe... Did I check everything upstairs? One corpse left. Oh, and another item. Old fire damn blood gem. Okay then. So, back on somewhat solid ground, we have a spear thrower. What the fuck is that? Is that a velociraptor? Seriously? A fish dog! Seriously, a fucking fish dog. Gross. Okay then. So there's one spear true. Two spear throws. Maybe if I circle around the tree... Okay. So that guy true. I check my back. 
Okay then. I hear another magic user. Oh, he's right on top of there. Oh, fuck! Okay, I died. <sighs> Nasty. So they were kind of baiting me. That that guy is still creeping me out. Okay. Oh wow! You can actually kill it in one hit. More blood vials. I'm gonna have to try and get to... Seriously? Is he not gonna do it now? I have a feeling that there's... Something on the left here. Okay, bloodstone chunk. Okay, so he's not coming today, apparently. Wonder if I can sneak past the thing. Oh wow, now he's just standing there. Is he seriously leaving? Dude, I'm right here. I'm gonna try and use the tree to my advantage. This is no this has no point. Huh. What's this? It's like, there's a ladder. Oh no. What the fuck? So I hear those winter brings. And there's one of those fish giants just hanging around. And there seems to be another one around the corner as well. So, um... No? Thank you. I'll do this a bit later on. Uh, purple skulls. Oh, why did that change? Running. Huh. 
how far does he come actually? Okay, that one is coming as well. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Now he's coming. I can use those, finally! Thank you! Fuck off! Whoa! So we finally got past that. Now what? So then there, I haven't been in here. Great one's wisdom, thank you. <laughs> Nothing but safe places here. Yeah, um no thank you. So I have been over there. And now what monstrosities lie ahead? I have a shack. <gasps> Thank you, dear god. And every other deity as well. So, after that harrowing fish fight, I am gonna take a break. I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to my channel for more. So thank you guys and goodbye. See you.